Hi everybody and welcome back. In the last lecture we looked at how to concatenate strings and variables or how to combine strings and variables. Now we used naming a name example in uh, our last program lecture and what we're going to do in this lecture is we're just going to stick with this name example for a few more minutes. So just bear with me. So we have our name and our variable. Now as you can see here each time I typed my name I capitalized my first and my last name. And I did that just out of habit. So let's just enter in a new variable. First name. And again, I usually just go like that, capitalize. But what happens if I don't? So there's no way for us to know how a user is going to type in their name. They could enter it in all caps, all lowercase, or they could capitalize the first initial of their name. And let's just type in last name as well while we're at it. So again, imagine a program on the web where you have asked a user for their first name and their last name. But obviously when you print that name back to them, you might want to capitalize their first or their last initial, whatever it might be. How do we do that? Well, we use what, what's called the string title method. So the title method. And that method looks like this. So we don't have to do anything to our current variables or their values. What we need to do is work on our print statement. So we have print and let's print our first name. And then we follow that with dot T-I-T-L-E open and close brackets. And that's called the Python title method. And what that does is it capitalizes the first initial of this variable. So let's run this program. And there we go. So as you can see, our variable here, Tony, is all lowercase. But when we printed it out to screen, Tony is now capitalized. Or the T in Tony is now capitalized. So that is very, very handy. It saves you doing it, allows you to take input from the user, manipulate that input, and print it out in a nice, clean format. Now, so let's print out our first, our, our full name. But before we do, let's just change the S and the T to lowercase. And we just go down here and we say print name dot t i t l e print name dot title open and close brackets and make sure you close your brackets here and let's run this program again and there we go perfect even though our name variable is all lowercase it's outputted because of the title method in a nice cleanly formatted capitalized way so let's just talk about this title method for a moment. This piece of information here, dot T-I-T-L-E, open and close brackets. That is what's known in Python as a method. So a method is an action that Python can perform on a piece of data. So in this example, we've used the title method to manipulate the data within the name variable. So to manipulate my name here, or in your example, your name. And that manipulation has capitalized the T and the S. The dot after the name in dot title tells Python to make the title method act on the variable name. So no good just adding it in. You have to remember to put in the dot. And the dot will then tell Python to use the title method on our variable name. And equally when we use it on first name, dot title told Python to use the title method on our first name. And it would be the same with our last name. So print name, sorry, last name and dot which tells Python to modify the last name variable with the title method. And let's run this again. And there we have it. The Staunton has become, the, the S in the Staunton has become capitalized. A very, very handy feature. Every method is followed by a set, a set of brackets, opening and closing. Because methods often need additional information to do their work, this info is provided within the brackets. So as we'll see later, Within the brackets here, we will provide more information for the method to work with. Could be user input, could be anything. We'll look at that later on. And that is an introduction into the Python title method. We will look at other methods in future lectures. Thank you. I hope all this made sense. If not, please ask me in the Q&A or check out the activity section. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.